Hey guys, it's Roz. I'm back at you one more again. I hope you are doing fabulous on this sensational Saturday. Me, I'm doing lovely and blessed on this sensational Saturday. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Namaste, love and light to you. And thank you for the support and coming to see what I'm about. Please like and subscribe and hit that like button. I mean, hit that subscribe button. And then hit the bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. If you are returning, so thank you, love and light. Thanks for the support and many blessings to you also. Today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Thy will be done. Today, I'm listening to my dad's song, Thy will be done. This, this phrase that came up in my head, and I know um, I've heard it, you know, reading the Bible and throughout movies and, you know, reading angelic messages and stuff when it comes to my numbers and stuff like that, when I always look up numbers. Oh, it is just crazy because when this phrase came up in my head, just popped out, I was just dancing around and stuff like that, and then I heard that I will be done, and I was just like, what is going on? I'm like, I'm reading this, and it's just like, you know, it kind of creeped me out a little bit, which they say, you know, the phrase will you know, creep you out because you're like, well, God will be done what? You know, you're fearing something. So, you know, I said, don't fear what you don't understand. Go ahead and read it. You know, and that's what I do. So, it's just basically surrendering to a higher power over the ego mind because so many of us are ruled by our ego minds. It's just like I was talking to my own girl, Simone, and, you know, God stopped by her her page, Simone the Realist. It, she is just good. She has so many different things she got going on with her songs and stuff like that, and she really got a lot to say, and I love that girl to death. That's like my little sister. But anyways, that will be done. It's just like you're you're giving up, you know, surrendering when you're actually going by God's will. Like, our, our minds are controlled by, you know, our lower reactive, our lower self, our lower unconscious or subconscious. And it's just like so many things, it's like, you know, with our ego mind that, you know, is basically programmed for us to use anyway for our daily decisions, day-to-day -day basis, you know, our fears or whatever, upbringings, like I told you before, a child or a child or whatever, and it's just like, I know I had to surrender everything, that means like any kind of substance abuse, any kind of anger, or any anxiety, you need to just surrender it, and it's just so many of us surrender, but we don't surrender everything, if you want to live right, you have to surrender it all without no worries, no kind of fears, no kind of concerns, and you know the divine is working in your favor there's no fear because you know I, I had to say it a couple of times you know that is just like a really powerful affirmation and you guys know I tell you guys about affirmations a lot and they're really helpful throughout your life you know especially on decisions you can, need to make so it, it's just like releasing everything when your worries or fears you know what I'm saying yesterday when you release everything and you know that everything is working in your favor because we you know when that's the step in your leap of, leap of faith Things that you cannot see, but you're believing that it's going to be okay. When you can surrender and all that, there's nothing to worry about. You know, you can't deal, you can't worry about the current situation you are, even though that's what our, our mind, our ego programs us to. Because we're so busy, worried about the negative, we don't see the positive that's going on all around us. We're so busy, you know, looking at all the other things that we don't pay attention to the things that we really need to know. And so I was just like, you know what? Thy will be done on everything. I'm not saying anything specific because I need everything. You need to surrender it all. So it's just like, guys, when you're going through something and you're trying to figure out which way to go, <clears throat> nothing's by accident. Nothing's by coincidence. You're always in the place that you're supposed to be at that time. And it might be good and it might be bad. But it's just always how you look at things. It's just always how you look at it. Just surrender to it. You know, don't sit up here and worry about things we cannot control. <laughs> There's one thing you cannot control. Your past and people. There's, there's two things you can't control. You only can control yourself. So I just decided to surrender over everything and just not worry about it anymore. Just not let things bother me and me have to, you know, pick up a cigarette, pick up, you know, whatever. And it's just like, 
don't have to do it. You don't have to pick up a drink or whatever. You know, if you have a drink every once in a while, that's, that's no problem. But when we start leaning on, you know, substances and alcohol or, you know, abusive things just to, because that's in our comfort zone. That's things that we have to get used to. And it's, I mean, the things that we are used to. And it's just like, when you know you're on a journey, it's not going to be comfortable. And if that's the journey you're supposed to be on, it's definitely not going to be comfortable and it's not going to be easy. But it just depends on how much you want it. So it's just like, I have to, you know, I'm going to let God tell me, you know, thy will be done. And that's pretty much what I'm going to tell you guys. Go ahead and surrender. Don't worry about the things that are going on in your day-to-day -day life. You know, we all go through things for a lesson or a blessing. And everything that we're meant to go through is tend to learn something one way or another. And to grow from and learn from and to become stronger to a better person we're supposed to be. But I'm not going to keep you guys. Be responsible on whatever you do this weekend. And I will keep you guys in my prayers. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification button. And I will talk to you later. Oh, yes. And go see my dear friend, uh, Yankee Adventures, Outdoor Adventures. I mean, he has so many good stories. Like, I love his Halloween stories and some of the good tips. I did not know you can use sage for mosquito repellent. So, if I know if I'm out nature hiking or wanting to camp, when I don't, I, yeah, I did that one time to really enjoy it, but it was kind of fun because it was something different. But you can learn a lot of things from his channel. And just support each other. You know, we all got these different channels and stuff we got going on. You know, especially with my 420 family. There's so many of you guys. So, I just do apologize on, you know, not naming anymore. But I know there are so many of you guys who go through my, my uh, subscription list. I have so many people that I try to support as much as I can every day or when I can when I have the time. So um, I'm not going to keep you guys. Please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And I will talk to you later. Peace and be wild. Much love to you.